Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This is episode 14 of the India Let's Play. Yesterday we attacked China and as you can see we're doing rather well there. But uh, let's check Persia first. Now, we are fighting them here and for now we are winning. We definitely are. Our uh, kill to death ratio is also very good and we should be able to win rather easily, I think it's gonna take some time, however, they have quite a lot of units, actually a surprisingly high amount, but yeah, as I said, we're going to win, it's just gonna take a little bit of time, however, as I said, the KD is good, like, quite good, so let's go ahead and check that, actually, we can only see on day 14, and it is, uh, this is it, right, I think, uh, it's like 1 to 2, not that bad, I suppose, but we definitely are winning and quite well. And against China too, our KD against China is much better actually, at least I think so. It can be seen over here, 28,000 and we only took 9,000, so 3 to 1 basically. But anyway, we're doing well here, we're going to clean this uh, up all of these revolted provinces and all of that. Seems like we are winning rather well, rather easily. We're gonna continue attacking them. I'll go ahead and take this Q. We're gonna send some uh, median tanks and there we go. That should be enough. This can go bomb this. And soon enough we'll have this entire area too. I'm gonna send this infantry to take this. And you can actually go over here bomb this. There we go. That should be the entire Z base on my area. Occupied and uh, secured. There we go. Well then, uh, we're gonna push into here too. Try to get this province, make the border look nicer. I still don't know what's gonna happen with China though. Manchukuo still not at war with them, they're just at war with Japan and they've been able to take uh, Chongqing actually, surprisingly enough. I think Manchukuo and China might be allies. Mongolia is actually active, wow. That is interesting, that is very interesting. Mongolia, Manchukuo and China are currently all active. Anyway, since we uh, still have plenty of units and all of that, we can do more. First we're gonna go here and uh, clean all of this up in uh, Burma, right? Let's do just that, and with this, uh, what we have here, we gotta keep pushing into China. Try to gain uh, more land, at least the Anan over here, and possibly much more. So, uh, there we go. I'd kind of want to, like, I don't know, Central China, then all of this, in this kind of area, right? Something like this. However, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to take all of that. The Chinese army is pretty much dead at this point too. So after that we can just uh, turn all of these units around, take central China if Manchukuo doesn't go after them. Anyway, research wise we are doing rather well as you can see. We don't have anything to research, we can research all five mediums though. So let's do that actually, let's actually do it. They are coming useful. Anyway, from the port we built some things, not much though, but mostly captured and lost provinces. And uh, for now we just want to uh, capture Yunnan, that's gonna be good enough. We're also gonna go to war with uh, Siam soon. However, that's gonna be a little bit later. We're gonna need more units in the area. We're actually gonna take all the units we made, all the new ones, and uh, we're gonna put them on the Siamese border. Prepare these units for the invasion, right? There we go. We're gonna want more, we're gonna need more. Well, we're probably not going to even uh, upgrade our units since that's probably gonna cost a lot. We actually have loads of resources here, so I'm gonna upgrade our stationary units that are over here on the Xinjiang border mostly. That's gonna come in useful. Anyway, we have even more units all around here actually. I'm gonna start pushing uh, slightly into China. Or into central China, shall I say. Anyway, over here in these areas, this is, uh, is looking pretty good. Uh, Shiraz over here can build tanks, which is great. Gotta build it up, I suppose, maybe later since we are at war with uh, Persia and uh, the city isn't secured. Shigatse can be built up uh, to a better tank plant. Uh, we're gonna use that too for tanks. And all of these ones for now can build median tanks. Only 8 hours for level 4s, which is amazing. And that's the most. It's actually 644 in these ones, which is amazing. That's gonna solve our uh, median tank shortage sooner or later. It's gonna take a little bit of time though, but still. Anyway, our current unit count is uh, 106 and we have 210 points. Also, Brazil and Peru went inactive now. As you can see, actually they are back online, but uh, they were inactive for a second. Peru still is, and the USA is actually now active, surprisingly. That's uh, really interesting. 
And if other than that, not much has changed. Soviet Union is still in active. Mongolia is though, as I said before. So uh, plan is for now, secure the rest of China, right? Uh, maybe Yunnan, Central China and uh, the entire sea base on my area. After that, we might take out Xinjiang. We probably will, then Siam and the British Malaya. And we are basically done as well as Persia, of course. So we are pretty close to being done. But for now, this is going really, really well. Anyway, I'm going to be alright there, I think. Since, uh, yeah, that's basically all we need to do. Most advanced nations, I don't think we're very far above. Because we still don't have that much researched. We have the main things research that we need, but we don't have other things like the UK has all kinds of ships and stuff, which we, you know, we don't have a use to research all of that. Yeah, we actually aren't here. We are not. That doesn't matter though. It's nothing that important. Also, let's uh, continue production. Let's not forget about that. Let's load these up to level 5 as well. We got one that, especially when we get even higher level motorized right and uh, in these areas too we can make some sp artillery we actually can't afford it at this point metal yeah we are really lacking in metal we also built uh two provinces for metal up yesterday you're gonna continue building that up in these places so let's build that uh that's gonna cost another 3100 metal and like 600 oil which i think we should be able to buy we actually can so that's good and there we go, it's gonna cost some money, but I don't really care. It's worth it, money is, you know, plentiful, I suppose, so yeah. Anyway, almost 12,000 money on units every single day, and our economy is growing 190,000 money per day now. So uh, we are becoming a superpower, literally. Like, we are extremely strong at this point, probably the strongest country in the world, I wouldn't be surprised. We'll be able to see army sizes, I think, tomorrow. Yeah, we will be able to, so we should be the biggest or one of the biggest at least. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow as always. You can also uh, like if you enjoyed the video. You can also subscribe if you like my channel. Goodbye.